Hey guys, long time no see. I know it's been a really long time since my last video, or I guess um, I just uploaded my last video like yesterday, but it's been a really long time since I've been recording. Um, I'm trying to get some decent lighting here, but I'm in a parking garage. I just finished school at UCF, or not, I didn't finish school, but I just finished class at UCF. Uh, I'm taking a, an, another summer class right now. Just been going through a lot lately. Um, just some personal stuff going on and it's been really difficult to deal with. So, kind of just needed some time alone to myself to um, do what I need to do and get it done. We recently, my sisters and I had to randomly move because our, the owners of our old house wanted to move back in or something. So we had to find a new house and move in within a month right after that trip from um, in Washington. So that was a crazy whirlwind and then I started school right at the same time. So it's just been insane. So basically I am uh, finally kind of settling back down, but back in my normal routine. I'm working out again, or a lot more now. Um, trying to stay on top of my diet. I've been I've been so stressed lately that my appetite hasn't been there and I've just been feeling like total crap and um, I'm trying to eat enough so I don't lose my muscles but but you know you kind of have to take take life take what life gives you so today is kind of like step one back on track um, like I'm always doing back on track videos but this is for real like mentally and physically like how to get yourself back together so um, I'm definitely gonna just try my hardest and be um, as honest as I can with you guys without like I don't want to talk about everything too much because it's just really complicated and I don't, I don't know it doesn't really need to be shared per se but just kind of going through a bit of um, like ba basically a breakup I guess so starting fresh um, I'm headed back from class now I'm gonna go to the gym I'm having a snack and it is my new favorite this is a red velvet cake um, power crunch bar and it's so good like this is the best crunch bar I think there is maybe besides the chocolate but I really really like it so highly recommend and I will see you guys at the gym there's a carol that you sing right within your so one of the things I've been doing that's been really helping me just feel better is listen to Christmas music and Disney music because those are just things that make me happy and putting good, happy, positive thoughts in my head. Right now it's really easy to just really be down on yourself and think of all the, you know, what ifs and could ofs and should ofs and things that you can't change anymore. So it's just a good place just to let your mind, like for me that's just what works for me personally, but I don't know what would work for anybody else. Christmas is just so happy and it's, it's July right now, but in my defense, it is Christmas in July. And they're having a thing downtown tonight. It's an actually Christmas in July, like drinking thing. And I might go, we'll see. I don't know if I'm actually in the mood for that, but it would be fun to like see Santa. And, I don't know, I guess it's this form of coping, coping mechanism is my addiction to Disney and Christmas and just unrealistically happy things. <laughs> But I guess it's just, I don't know, that's why I like it. Because it's like, you know, everything's going to be okay. That's exactly what it's like. And I, I'm i determined to think that. So that is what I'm doing. Listening to Christmas jams on the way home. Here's your story. Let's begin. The water's fine. Come on, dive in. The future's here. It's right before you. Could be larger than life, bigger than the world. Living out the hopes and dreams of every boy and every girl. You could fly higher than the sky, shine brighter than the stars. You could have all you ever wanted, shoot the moon and reach for Mars. You know you could. Yeah, and times are changing everywhere.
cooking dinner right now. I'm trying out one of these like foil wrap recipes that I'm seeing on Facebook all the time. So this one is like an old bay seasoning one. So I've got potatoes and um, corn on the cob boiling over there and then I'm putting in some shrimp and then you're supposed to wrap it in foil and then add old bay seasoning. And you're supposed to have like some sort of sausage with it too but I forgot to put that. So we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully good. So after I boiled the potatoes, corn, potatoes and corn, um, I put in the shrimp that I peeled in that same bowl, drained the water of course, and then I put um, this little like concoction of butter to pour over the top. It's three tablespoons of butter, um, three tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning, garlic, and lemon juice. Like three tablespoons, three teaspoons of garlic, and lemon juice from half a lemon. So I pour that all together, salt and pepper as well. Now, I'm going to gently drizzle it over. Let's see if I can... Okay, yes. This doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> Whatever. So there's that, and we're gonna stir it to coat, and I'll do that after I finish recording. Um, and then you need, then we put them in um, pieces of foil, like four pieces of foil, I think, is what they recommend. So this is what it looks like before I'm putting in the foil. I have three more done over here. And then I bake it in the oven for 400 degrees um, for how long? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah. Here is the final product. And I'm melting a little more butter in here. Yeah. And this is just like drawn butter to put over the top. I'll um, put the... I'll put the Pinterest recipe either linked in the bottom or on the screen so you guys can make this yourself if you want to. I have it all written down. But here we go, I'm so excited. I am getting my eyebrows microbladed today. And it may sound interesting, but um, I have had them done before. Let me show you really quick. I originally got them done um, in September or October of last year my birthday and now I'm doing my one year follow-up fill so it's July now I know it's a little bit early but I kind of wanted them um, I'll, put, I'll put the original picture of what my eyebrows used to look like on the screen right here but I love the result that came from it even now like they don't look bad when I have no makeup on but when I do have makeup on they, I need to fill them in because they need to be like more dramatic so I'm just getting them in now um, I go to a place in Lake Mary Florida called Jador and um, I can link or put a description or link for them or whatever in the description box below. But the girl's name that does it is by um, Diana? No, Bianca. Bianca. And she is awesome. So I will show you what it looks like afterwards, but here is the before. And I'm super excited. It does kind of hurt and I'm kind of nervous, but it'll be fine. I know it's kind of like, it's not as bad as getting a tattoo because they do put numbing cream on you, but it's like definitely they use like a razor blade with ink in it to cut your skin and like get the ink in there. So, I mean, it's not comfortable, but 100% worth it. So I just got finished with my appointment. Um, they look very intense right now, but it is because I asked for a little bit darker of pigment so that it lasts longer. And I asked them a little bit thicker because when I do have my eye makeup on, I usually do a pretty bold liner and like I like mascara and stuff. Like I literally have no eye makeup on right now. Um, and it will match better in that situation. So that's what they look like. Um, I don't know how to really show you, but they, I don't know, I really like them for now. The first week, as soon as I get them done, um, they're gonna be the most, uh, pigmented and like very very dark like this and then they'll scab and come off and then they'll fade and then, then the real like pigment that's actually in your skin will show and that's what it's actually gonna look like kind of feel like they look a little bit thick right now but um, I did ask them a little bit thicker so I think when I have like actual makeup on it won't be as intense but right now it's just kind of like whoa so I guess next time I do my makeup probably tomorrow when I'm working I'll show you what it looks like and I'm sure it'll it'll match my face a little bit better then but all in all, very happy with the result. She is always really great, so, hey. So I thought I'd give an updated look of what my eyebrows look like when I have full makeup on. So that is it now. I've done nothing to them at all. Um, so that's exactly what they look like. Definitely really like them. And yeah, highly recommend. <laughs>